Hey, good morning, folks. Hope you're all doing well today. Kind of a rainy day here today. But today I wanted to talk a little bit about pocket, pocket knives. Got a little box here. It's been with me for a long time, just a little wooden box. I have some pocket knives in here. It's my everyday carry right here. I just threw it in the box with the rest of these for now. Uh, let me take some of these out of here. Okay. My everyday pocket knife. Screwdriver. Bottle opener. Can opener. All blade and it's sharp enough to shave with too. This is the one that's on me all the time, every time I leave the house. Never leave home without it. And the reason why I love these knives is the shackle. I have a little metal clip that's on my belt. And I clip this shackle right to my belt, and I never lose my pocket knife. My last pocket knife, let's see, where is it? It's, uh, is it this one? No. Ah, this one. My last pocket knife is a U.S. Camellus, 1968. I've carried this for 23 years. But you can see that it's just a, uh, it's all loose. All the springs are loose in it. It's just not really safe anymore. But it has all the same tools as this one. And it has the shackle. Now therein lies the problem. I've got a few of these military pocket knives here. Um, kind of collect them as well as an old camp knife made anyway back to what I was getting at I get a lot of flack from people for calling this a shackle everybody says it's not a shackle, it's a bail. Get it right. Well, they're not wrong. There are knife companies out there that call this a bail, and a lot of people call it a bail. So, in that sense, they're right. However, I did some research on the history of Camellus knives, which is what I carried for 23 years, this, this style here. And I'll put this up there so you can see it, and it refers to it as a clevis or a shackle. And there's the original drawings for it. And I got this off of the Camellus website, the historical website. And U.S. Camellus knife. Um, same same one and if I zoom in here you can see it says shackle so that's the reason why I always refer to it as a shackle because when I first researched it that's what they called it and that's what I started calling it so you could do either way a clevis a shackle a bale you're not wrong either way. So why people get so upset about it, I don't know. Anyway, you know, my wife and I, we were, we were camping one time. Uh, well, actually, we were full-time RVers for two and a half years. And my wife, we had the regular crank-style can openers in the, can open, uh, in the camper. And my wife was opening up a can of hash for breakfast. And the can opener busted. Well, I went and got my little pocket knife. Got the can, can opener, excuse me. Open the can, we're back in business. Save breakfast. Um, 
I can't tell you how many times that I've used the screwdriver and the bottle opener. Uh, just so many times. The knife, I can't count the things I cut with it. Um, and I've even used the awl to make holes in my belt. Uh, my old pocket knife, the, uh, the U.S. Camellus one. Let's see here. Um, this one here was even used to castrate bulls at a branding, believe it or not. And their knife got dull and they needed a knife and I pull out my pocket knife and sorry bulls. <laughs> anyway folks, I just wanted to tell you that little tale there and show you the drawings and tell people don't get upset when somebody refers to it as a shackle or a clevis. Uh, yes, a lot of knife companies call it a bale and some call it a clevis or a shackle. So anyway folks, I hope you're all doing well. If I don't hear from you or see you from, uh, before Christmas, I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. Um, spend some time with your loved ones and uh, don't sweat the small stuff. You know, so much going on in the United States. So many people lost so much with those tornadoes and everything else. Just be happy for what you have and for the people that you have around you. God bless you all and thank you.